For them, the path was not chosen. They chose their path. Yes. Not knowing the fear of death. Having never learned the fear of confronting it. Is everyone all right? Have you seen a guy? A guy with a red cape? No, I haven't. You? No. Visual! Kill them! No. Teacher! Teacher! I'm right here. Sana. It's too late. I know that.
Chief Jerry. Let's rest. A while. <laughs> I always thought that your name was weird. Must have pulled that one out of a hat. I'd like to see you again. DJ. I'm glad that you're here with me. No. I don't. I don't. I want to die. Hello everyone, my name is Pyjama Gamer and welcome back to a, another video. Now, on my last video, I know it wasn't all that long and there was a bit where it suddenly cut out. Now, the reason for that is <coughs> um, it was classed as a blocked scene. I don't know whether because it has the name of the people who worked on it or whether there were some spoilers or something. But just to give you guys kind of a heads up of what happened, Izana and Chichiri unfortunately died and Ace went to say goodbye. He put Izana's hands on his chest, gave Chichiri a bit of a stroke on his head to say goodbye and then he stood up and walked off and then the credits started and then after that it carried on walking and this is the scene that you have. Now I've put the tutorial guys on just to help everybody out uh, but basically it says move your... I'm using this PS4 so it will be a PS4 controller. You have your left joystick and right joysticks. Your left joystick is to move and your right is to look around and if you press R3 it resets your view which is basically where your controller is you can push it down. <coughs> so if I move my left joystick I move left and right and if I move my right joystick and then if I press in that right joystick it resets it. Uh, the reason they okay, basically the reason why they say um, who lost his name is because unfortunately it's, it's a bit more revealed later on. But basically, when people die in this in this game, they lose their everybody else loses their memories of them. So 
Machina and Rem will now no longer know who Azana is because Azana's died. So if we go forward... Right, so press D to draw your weapon and attack. So D is basically attack. Now if you press R1, you can lock into the character and basically... Yeah, so uh, you can then harvest there what's called Phantoma and it restores it restores your MP and you also get some goodies from it. So if I press R1 again and press D, I, that's what I got for it. So if I keep running forward... Seal the exit, seal the exit. There we go, so again R1 to lock onto it and it basically just means that any and all attacks that you then whether use then whether it's magic or whatever is straight onto that is straight onto that enemy. Yes, yeah, so if I want to recover hit points, I have to just stand still and press circle to move to dodge. Right, some of you will notice there that this that red symbol appeared above that soldier. And then the first time that I did it, I just take the over. And the first time I did it, uh, you heard a uh, the person was killed straight away. That's called kill sight. That's very useful, particularly if you're trying to level up people because it can get rid of enemies very very quickly. There we go, so that's it. So breaks that if you hit them while it's yellow, you will deal big a large amount of damage, but kill sight will kill them. As the name suggests. Now you can also use magic by pressing <coughs> by uh, for this one it's pressing triangle. Steal all their stuff. And I should around these guys. Turn it on. Turn it on. No. Sometimes near particularly Dominion soldiers who are basically the people on your side, you might see a little glowing thing next to their dead bodies. This is called a knowing tag and that basically has their name on them and everybody carries one so people, they might not remember who they are but at least they can give them a bit of a grave. Now coming up here, So when they yeah so we're basically if you defeat the leader in the area the rest of them will kind of freak out and you can make them surrender. So you see this guy he now runs off and he stands up against the wall with his arms spread out and you can get some goodies for doing it. There we go. So I got a fortified ration and I pressed X to make that happen. Now you see ah oh, I didn't have anything from that guy. So as you can see there's a little sparkly pad here and this is basically it heals up all your hit points and magic points for the area. They're called recovery portals as you can see. Yeah, that was that kill site again. Lucky with I one and tilt. Now you can see one of these knowing tags here. Look, can you see? If you look down on this guy, you will see, and then it should come up me to pick up the sparkly thing. Pick up the sparkly thing. No. Pick up the sparkly. 
You know what? I'm gonna change to someone else. To change, you have to press on your other your non-joystick arrows. You can use. I wonder whether I've got to come back. Okay. Why have you put up a wall? Oh, that's why. Right, now it might let me hit the up. Let's try again. Okay, maybe not. Sorry about that. <laughs> I thought if I'd if I thought if I'd be that guy I could go back and go get the known tag, but apparently not. Oh, this is where I fail. I hate this thing. What the hell? What the hell? Back off! Back off! Yo! Right, so this basically just requires you running around. It's awful. I lost so many people. Basically, it'll just kind of go off on its own. But it's freaking awful. I hate this thing. And basically it is just, it's trying to take magic points off people, uh, but it takes the phantoma that we would, we would normally use. Ah, run away! Run away! <laughs> Such a coward. Oh, why did you go that way? Yeah, so it doesn't stay around for long, but in order to avoid a heavy amount of casualty as I did the first time I played it, where I just went, ran straight up to it and was like, yeah, come on then, I'll kick your back end, and it just basically just pretty much killed everybody and then faded away on its own. So it's, it is better to just keep running around so it doesn't actually damage you. And they're all like, the heal? Quite understandably, to be honest. Oh, no, can't go that way. Let's go up the non-broken stairs. So this is basically your first kind of mission. This is where you're introduced to all of your characters and you have the opportunity to get to know them and to get to know their fighting style. Here we go, look. Pick up, there we go, there's a knowing tag. Despite the fact there is not a dead body around for a knowing tag, but there we go. I'm going to play as Queen for a bit because I quite like her. I like her weapon. I like her long sword. She is quite quick and agile. So if we stand back on the right, the if you have a if you as you can see there's like a red wheel thing. This is this is kind of like some of the switches that they use. It's like a big fancy switch with magic in. I'm going in without yours. Sorry, I'm just keeping an eye on the battery on my camera because it is getting really low. Alright. Oh, where did he grow? That was me. What's your status? Me. Eight. Eight. I think is a bit weird. Yeah, so you can use particularly magic to defeat your enemies who are quite far away, who might for some reason get a get away from you. King and there is another one who use guns or one uh, king uses guns and i think it's sync or sunk it depends on how you do it she uses a magic blaster so that can be useful for that had not yet fully achieved their objectives a lack of experience combined with imperial counterattacks was jeopardizing the operation to make matters worse, to make matters without, worse access to without access to their weapon, most powerful magic, weapon, magic, Rubrum's ground forces suffered severe casualties and were unable to, and reach, were unable their to reach their objective, Academia.
But the first time I saw this, it completely creeped me out because I just thought, oh my god, that big horrible dragon is going to kill me. But it turns out he's on your side, so it's all fine. So if you can see, there is this little red hovering crystal thing with menu above it. This is literally your mem uh, your menu. You can have a look at, uh, you can decide who, who you are going to assign. You can have a look who is in your backups. You can have a look at their weapons to equip it to the most effective. Promotion deals with AP. A lot of people who used to play the olden style Final Fantasies. This was this was just mainly used with their with the Guardian Force or the Adelons. However, they have changed it now and they've made it a suitable. They've made it applicable to the to the Guardian Force and also to these guys, so they can boost them up that way. But I don't have any useful items. Difficulty, particularly later on, you can choose whether you can go back and be go something harder or not. It's up to you and you have the ability to save and load a different screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this video here because the um, the PS only, uh, the only records in 15 minute bursts. So I'm going to save this here and then I'll probably come back and do another one on a different day. So this is my first part. So I'm going to save it. So to save it, you press X and I'm going to go on to the empty one because this is the one I'm currently on, I'm currently playing at the moment. So saving game and it should come up. There we go. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, hit like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!